Hello! So I know I haven't been the best at doing these top 10 videos, but I am back now and I'm going to try and keep them up as much as I can. So if I don't and you want to see one, you know, just comment me and tell me off. You can send me emails if you want, just don't send too much hate mail. But this is my Toffee's Top 10 for October 2011. The first product I am going to talk about is the Maybelline Dream Satin Liquid. This is a air whipped foundation with an airbrush finish and I use the one in Nude which is number 21. This matches perfectly to my skin tone or what I think my skin tone should be. It gives great coverage, it evens out my skin tone and I just apply with a normal foundation brush with a flat foundation brush like this and just apply it all over and then just set with powder and I'm good for the day, I love it. I'm wearing it right now and I think it's beautiful. Second product which I actually love, I've actually lost it and I'm really annoyed because I really really like that product and I wanted to get it out so I could show you it today. Nevertheless, I have the box. It's the Cause Lip Butter. The one I had is in Wild Rose. I actually picked this up at the Glossy Box event that I went to. I think the box is really cute because it's like a little matchbox thing. Anyway, I've been using it a lot, hence why I've lost it, because it's been transferred around different bags and different coats and things, and I may have left it somewhere. I can't find it anywhere, but it's really good. It's so hydrating smooths on the lips and the colour is divine. It's really good for on the go, if you need a little bit of colour or if your lips are feeling a bit dry, it's perfect for that. So that's number two. Olay Beauty Fluid. This one is in the normal dry combination formula. I don't do the sensitive skin formula because it's just not as good. It's a non-greasy moisturising fluid and to be honest, it's not going to harm your skin unless you are very super, super, super sensitive. This is pretty much good for sensitive skin. It's pH neutral, which means it has the same pH as water, which is 7. So it's not acidic, it's not alkaline or anything. And it actually just feels like water, like when you apply it on your skin. I've put this on day and night because I ran out of both, I ran out of my normal moisturisers and I'm glad I went back to this actually. I do really love it. Smooth it on my face and just let it soak in and it's beautiful. It doesn't take too long to soak in at all. It's very light and yeah, great product. This is from Aussie. It's the Take The Heat Leave-In Cream. I have been using this basically every time I wash my hair. When I first got it, I was a bit skeptical because it's the cream and creams don't usually like my hair when they're damp. They kind of just sit there and then become sticky, especially when I try and dry it with a hairdryer. But this is specially formulated to put in damp hair before you blow dry your hair. So, brilliant stuff. It works really, really well. This is actually the special Aussie Versary packaging, which is limited edition at the moment. The product isn't just the packaging with the pretty fireworks and everything. Just so you know, because if this product was limited edition, I would just buy loads of it right now. But it's not, so it's fine. Okay, it's fine. Basically, for my sort of hair length, you just use one pump rub it between your hands, sort of spread it through. I sort of go through the top of my hair first and then put a lot on the ends because that's the driest part of your hair. When I blow dry it leaves it smooth and silky and gorgeous and it protects your hair from heat and blow drying because of the heat protection stuff and it smells really good too so you know always bonus. Five are these Eyelure eyelashes. These ones are the 155s, which are brilliant. These ones I've actually worn before, and then I've just kept them and put them back in the packet. And I did wear them for a good. Mm. When did I take? I probably took them off around 1 a.m. and I put them on probably about 1 p.m. so that's a good 12 hours maybe a bit more maybe a bit less but I mean come on that is a long time and you know they stayed on my eyes fine and these ones are really natural I because I put them on at like 1 p.m. that means I can they're good enough for like they're natural enough for daytime so they don't look too like whoa she's wearing fake eyelashes during daytime kind of thing but then at night time it looks really good because you your eyelashes are like accentuated Especially with these Asian eyelashes where you can't, like, you know, 
where they're really short and tiny. But yeah, I really like these, so they're 155s. So this is my sixth product. This is the Laura Mercier Foundation Primer. I know there are different versions of this, but this is just the normal foundation primer. Anyway, this is just for all skin types and it's great. It, I just put it on before I apply my foundation and let it sink in just to make sure that my skin is fully prepped for foundation. It just smooths out my face, makes it feel a bit firmer as well, and then it just gives a nice base to apply foundation to, so I really like that. This product is great. This is from Illa Masca and it's the Pure Pigment in Beguile, which is from the latest collection, The Art of Darkness. This is a gorgeous, shimmery pigment. I don't really want to get it exploded all over me, but I shall show you if I can what it looks like. Ah. So it's sort of, it's sort of a shiny white powder, but it's got, it's filled with green and red iridescence in it and it's so sparkly I love it I'm just gonna close it because it's gonna go everywhere I've been using it to dress up for a nighttime look so I would have the normal sort of neutral daytime eye look like that I've got now and then I just use a fluffy blender brush dip a little bit of that beguile pigment in and then just smooth that all over my eyelid and then you just get this hint of shiny glittery and making your eyes sparkle and it's brilliant also it's great for along the top of the cheekbones and across the collarbone if that sort of complements the outfit that you're going for and I love it I think it's amazing I tried to put it on my nails because I loved it so much didn't really work out too well but definitely great for skin this is number 8, which is a concealer by MAC. It's the Select Cover Up, and this one I have in NC30. I'm actually NC25, I don't know why I picked up NC30, but I did, anyway. This works really well to cover up my blemishes, so that's always a good thing. And I like that it's a little liquid, it's like, it's kind of like liquid foundation, but just a bit more concentrated and a bit more gel-like. So, yeah, I'm really enjoying this. Number nine. Now, this is actually quite an odd product, and as you can see, it's a little bit dirty because it's been thrown in and out of my makeup bag. But, anyway, it's um, Maybelline Lash Stiletto, if you can believe that's the stiletto heel. I love it. I think it's really cute. I'm sure you've all seen it. It's what the brush looks like. It's like a... It's not a rubber brush, which is normally what I go for, but it's got loads of different bristles and it's brilliant it's just it pulls my lashes into a curl and coats them with mascara and it's perfect and I've been using this on its own actually normally I layer up with two or three mascaras different ones but this one seems to be doing a good job on its own lately so I've just been sticking with this one and finally nail art brushes <laughs> I have been really into nail art at the moment because of being sick and stuff so I've just been sat in my bed you know doing my nails and everything though I don't have anything on my nails at the moment but I've been using these quite a bit they're really cute and easy to use and they're synthetic and they're tiny so they're perfect for nails and I just really enjoy playing with my nails what a great way to get creative eh? So I hope you enjoyed this October Top 10. Let me know what your favourites are this month. I'd love to hear back. Do let me know if you've tried any of these products and whether you like them or not as well. Can't wait to hear what you think. I hope you guys are having a great day and I'll see you next month with another Top 10. Bye! To be honest, this is too... To be honest, this moisturiser is... I don't have too much stuff on it.